Now, on to our final common install for these standby generators. And this is the whole house automatic transfer switch. Yes, we are reviewing, but you'll see why here. Now we've got our meter where power comes in and our power uh, in our uh, main breaker panel here where power gets distributed throughout the house. Now enter that final transfer switch contestant, the automatic whole house transfer switch that is connected unlike any of the other ones that we've discussed to this point. This is usually um, where it gets installed in line between the meter and the main panel. And I think you can see what's coming here based on everything we've learned so far. Now here's just a few examples of what these look like internally. More high voltage lines and even more low voltage control wires and boards. These are the smartest of smart transfer switches and I'll show you why. In our power outage scenario, the street power goes cold and our super big brained automatic transfer switch notices the outage. It starts sending messages to the generator which starts gets up to speed and starts that power back to the transfer switch ready for that transfer. Now, once the ATS receives the go ahead from the generator, it flips its internal switch providing power back to the main panel. Now, remember, this is a super smart switch and it doesn't just open the floodgates for all of the power hungry systems to go demanding power right away. Through a series of controllers and modules, it uh, prioritizes those loads to give you what you need. Then once the demand for those needed items subsides, it allows the other major systems to turn on. Now, all this is set up in advance and you don't have to do anything manually. This is truly automatic. And to bring it full circle here, when the street power comes back and it's verified to be clean and consistent, the ATS prepares to switch power away from the generator and then instantly back to street power.